Incoming freshmen next year, University of Toronto, Stanford University, 18-year-old kids coming into this. We've been through three years of COVID. I won't rehearse it all. Mm -hmm. One sentence, what would, you, what, would you, what would you say to them as they begin university at the age of 18 or 19? What's the restorative, the redemptive sentence? What should they do? Don't be thinking your ambition is corrupt. You know, because that's part of the message now. Human beings, we're a cancer on the planet. We're headed for an environmental apocalypse. The entire historical structure is nothing but atrocity, et cetera, et cetera. Anyone with any ethical aim whatsoever is just going to pull back. You don't want to manifest any ambition, support the patriarchal structure, exploit the environment. You've got to crush yourself down. You shouldn't even have any children. It's like, no. There's no excuse for that. There's zero excuse for that. I saw a professor at, at an event, something like this. He came out and trumpeted this bloody, environmentally friendly house he'd built. And, you know, fair enough, man. It was, a, it was a pretty interesting house. But not everybody had the $4 million that, that it took him to build it. And I'm not criticizing his money, even. It's like, he's had some money. Good for him. He built a house. Okay. But then to trumpet that as a moral virtue, well, you're pushing it there. And then he came out to all the kids and he said, you know, my wife and I decided that we were only going to have one child. And I think that's one of the most ethical things we could have possibly done. And I would strongly encourage you to do the same. I thought, you son of a bitch. You get up in front of these young people. A lot of these kids were uh, children of first generation immigrants from China. And, and he showed all these images, you know, of these terrible factories in China, these endless rows of sterile mechanism that were subordinating all the Chinese people to this terrible, you know, capitalist uh, machine. And I thought, you don't understand. Half the audience is looking at those factories and thinking, that's a hell of a lot better than struggling through the mud under Mao, buddy. And so... He, he, I don't know where he thought he was, but to come out in front of all those kids and basically tell them that the whole human enterprise is so goddamn corrupt that the best thing they could possibly do is limit their multiplication and to think of himself as a scholar and an educator it was just, I did say something, by the way. It was rather uncomfortable and he stomped off the stage. But that's no message for young people. That's no, there's no excuse for that. And you think, well, I, you know, we're going to destroy the planet. We have to do this. We have to demoralize the youth to be ethical. It's like, yeah, really, that's your theory you're going to demoralize young people to be ethical that's your theory it's like you should go home and think about that for like a year and i'm passionate about this you know because you have no idea how many people that's killing you have no idea i see people everywhere all over the world they're so demoralized especially young people especially Young people with a conscience, because they've been told since they were little that there's nothing to them but corruption and power. It's like, how the hell do you expect them to react? You know, they... Well, I shouldn't do anything then, you know? Dr. Jordan Peterson on the... What was the phrase? The divine sovereign... Individual. individual. The divine yeah. sovereign individual. Thank you.